it is going to be a wet one i can see that the rocks are pretty wet there's quite a few anglers out there i can see some turns working the end of the jetty however i don't want to take this camera and then the one that's on my head on the hat over there as well but if i see people catching well monkey see monkey do i'll probably put this one away and then just wear the one on the hat but uh, welcome to the jetty let's put this right here we'll get ready to start casting and if it doesn't look like it's going to pan out to be anything it could be that i'm still early the conditions ain't right we have to wait for them southeast winds to bring all the fish in with us so imagine that but bigger crashing in over the jetty look at that starting things out with a four and a half inch paddle tail on a quarter ounce jig head <coughs> careful because these rocks are real slippery kind of swore to myself that I was going to come out here at least once a week and then once they turn on and the fish are being caught then I'll probably up the amount of times that I come here all right can't go out like that hook got tangled in my line that's what happens whenever you twitch a spoon should just retrieve it straight but want to try to give it a little bit of an er erratic action about a full 1000 count to hit that bottom again just not deep at all Alright, well it was worth a shot. It's kind of a bummer because of the amount of gas you spend trying to come out here to the coast. I don't live off, off of the coast, so I gotta travel about an hour and a half to an hour, depending on where I go out here, and that's just a that's a tough one all the way around. Let's get out of here. been a little while since I've been back over here really would like to have eyes underwater to make things happen not necessarily to see the fish because that's not what I use it for in this area but I want to see the drop I want to see how deep it is cannot do that when you don't have a fish finder any fish finder companies watching this video, hey, please drop a comment, reach out to my email. Feels good to be back on the kayak compared to my jetty trip the other day. The winds, they were correct. They were very high and out of the Northeast, but what I wasn't like counting on happening was the swells from the Gulf, insanely massive. We're talking surfer quality massive and i need the app that all them surfers are using because they obviously knew that them swells were going to be big coming in because they all gathered they had their photo crew everything and uh, there at the jetty it was chocolate milk i'm talking the water was churned pretty bad it's pretty nasty holy cow that wind is it's ridiculous that has been the topic of discussion for the past I don't know how many videos now but if you want to go fishing you're just gonna have to deal with it you're at the mercy of mother nature whenever she starts throwing this stuff at you and you got to hope that 
the platform that you decide to use is worthy enough of letting you fish because if you got to pick up a paddle it's not going to be pretty you have to start throwing some type of an anchor system put that kind of together and then it presents there was something coming up it presents itself as a snag and uh, it's just not good all right let's see if we can do this turn right here three-point turn all right we got some fry going airborne again gonna see if those fellas are being chased by somebody big I seriously doubt it though because that's been the the going thing so far today you see them jump up above the surface but there's nobody home I can't catch the attention of whatever it is that's causing them to do that and there's a bunch of these fellas quarter to half inch in length who man they are going airborne maybe it's the kayak like i'm spooking these fellas there goes our boy fishing trips no. <laughs> hey did you uh catch anything like really yeah. good job man yeah, yeah. nothing I've been seeing all this fry that hatched go like airborne, right. stuff spooking them, but not been lucky enough to catch anything yet. I'm going to go ahead and head over there to that other, that other spot. I thought I'd go inside there real quick, see if it was uh, doing anything, but nothing. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. going to hit up another spot, y'all. I hope I didn't drive this long way for nothing because when you got to pay expensive gas prices to drive about in anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half to get out here to the coast it is not cheap and it's a perfect segue to go into today's video sponsor it is catch co so those guys are helping to fuel the channel whenever uh you know you have days like this and when you fish every other day it's kind of hard to maintain that expense so Sponsors such as Catch Co, they do great things to be able to keep me out here on the water and uh, be able to provide y'all with consistent content. So, uh, yeah, these uh, lures that I'm using is branded by those guys. This right here is the 10,000 Fish Shimmer Swimmer. Y'all have seen me use it time and time again. And uh, it's a, a nice lure. We've also got a few others inside the tackle tray that uh, we'll be able to use that's branded by those fellas. If you're interested in checking them out, I'm going to link them in the video description down below. I highly encourage you to check them out, do some reading on them, and if you're going to make a purchase, again, I encourage you to consider becoming a member at the Carl's website because it's gonna allow you to have like free shipping up to about 30% savings on a lot of items there. There's so much stuff in the details down below or there's so many details in the description down below. Go there, click on the link, go to Carl's, read about it and save some money. Thank you Catchco for sponsoring today's video. Now back with fishing. It's a black drum. <laughs> oh, I got to see him eat it. I didn't think he was actually going to go after it. Oh my gosh, that's set up beautifully too. Come on, please, tow me out of the grass, buddy. Holy cow, he's got some muscle. Oh my gosh, this wind. Okay. Now let's fight this guy. Stake myself out right here though. This is a nuisance. I wish Hobie had some scupper holes away from the seat. Man.
Boy, he is digging hard too. Let's go, homie. Ugh. Goodness gracious. Buddy, come on. Come on, give it up. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. There we go. Oh my gosh. Let's get this guy back inside the water. He just ran a marathon and we don't want him to go belly up. Has a good hook set too. All right. Holy cow. That is a good catch right there. This dude had tons of muscle for his size. Catch your breath, buddy. All right, you're getting the camera all wet now. I think you're good. Look at this fella. That shimmer swimmer. That's a nice size black drum right there. He ain't comp like he hasn't reached the ugly stage yet. Boy, these guys can get big and then super ugly at the same time. There we go. Great hook. One more last look at this beautiful fish right there. And now it's time to just let him go. Hey, there he is right there. There you go. Spectacular fight. Oh, yes. That's what we were missing. Entire morning has just been tough fighting these winds. Let's check our leader line. A couple of scuffs in it, but nothing to be worried about. Plastic is still good. The rattle's inside there. And we're all set for another round last cast with the paddle tail and then we're going to go over to the shrimp imitation because i just saw a small tiny three-quarter incher come right up next to the kayak just skipping along the top of the water and hopefully that means our shrimp lure may get hit swap you out put you back right there Oh, nice red. Yes. There we are. Mr. Redfish, thank you for biting, buddy. Let's uh, stake ourselves out so that we don't drift any further. I gotta watch out whenever I do this too because I have come close to flipping. First keeper of the day. It's a gorgeous copper color. And the skelly shrimp does it that's the other lure that i was telling y'all about that's uh, branded by catchco it's really nice and not quite the gorgeous blue tail but it's blue enough for us we'll see ya we'll see actually you know what let's get a photo okay we'll see a guy
Oh. I saw that. Saw you, buddy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> just completely saw him just dart straight over at it. I did not feel a thump or anything like that, but I definitely saw him. Bamboozled by that shrimp. Looks like he's been caught before right there. Maybe that was my book. And that's it for today's episode of MDLR Fishing, y'all. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And if you want to help to support the content that I'm creating, then please click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell icon. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.